One of the more exciting areas of InDesign CS5 is our improved support for metadata. Specifically, you can now create captions from the metadata in close within the files that you place. So here I have two photographs and I want to generate a caption from the description field of the metadata attached or embedded in these images. Now to set up a caption, you need to go ahead and just select any representative image and right click and choose from the caption submenu, caption setup. This brings up a dialog box where you can actually customize and create multiple uh, metadata fields to create a custom caption. Here I've chosen just the description field, but if I click on that pop-up, you can see there's quite a list of metadata labels or fields that you can actually choose from, including things like copyright or location. I'm going to go ahead and choose description. If you want to, you can add text before or after this piece of metadata. You can decide where you want the caption text frame to be uh, inserted on the page, either below the image, above, left, or right, and also include an offset. How far away from the image do you want it to be placed? If you have a paragraph style already created, you can tag this paragraph that's going to be created for you with that style on creation. And you can also specify which layer you want the caption text frame to be generated on as well. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. That's the caption setup, and now you're ready to actually create the notion of a live caption. I'll go ahead and right click again on that selected image, and from the caption submenu, choose Generate Live Caption. And you can see what InDesign did is it created a text frame for you the width of the image. It populated that text frame with the actual description metadata that's embedded in the image. Now watch what happens if I move that text frame away from the photograph. You can see I get a variable placeholder that says no intersecting link. That text frame populates itself with metadata from whatever image frame it touches. So if I take this frame over to the Barry's image and just overlap slightly that text frame with the image frame, you can see it's got a new variable. It's now saying locally grown organic berries instead of the other metadata value. And again, you can see that that caption text frame ended up on the captions layer. Now, that may not be as flexible as you want. You may want to be able to move the image and the text frame together as a unit, or you may want to move that text frame away from the image. You'll see the requirement by default is that these two items have to touch. If you don't want them to have to touch to be able to populate that, you can also choose to group these two objects together. So if I use the group command, command G or control G, the logic of the live caption uh, behavior or a feature is able to see that this text frame is grouped with another image frame and populate the metadata from that image within the group. So there's a lot more to the captions feature. This is a, just a brief overview of the new live captions feature in InDesign CS5.